Hello and welcome to News 500. I'm Eric McElroy. And I'm Jessica foster -Q. And these are the headlines. Greek banks due to reopen with controls. They're just excited their banks have electric doors. Meanwhile, rioters in Greece set fire to Athens as they can't afford to break any more plates. UK to support US on attack on IS, LOL, Roffle, OMFG. Images have shown a very young Queen Elizabeth doing a possible Nazi salute. The palace says she was just doing a one-armed version of How Big Is Elizabeth? Kyle. The palace thought things were bad for the Queen after the Nazi salute footage was revealed, but it turns out she's guilty of something far worse. She likes Katie Hopkins. Oof. The government says the BBC faces a root and branch review. They've set up a completely impartial panel made up of a woodcutter, a chainsaw, and some naked flames. The SNP have scuppered Tory plans to undo the fox hunting ban, and David Cameron seemed shocked. A surprise? It turns out people who love foxes are actually pretty cunning. The Prime Minister has also unveiled new initiatives to tackle Islamic extremism. Let's hope it works out as well as his plan to isolate UKIP. If I was an extremist, I'd say the day was won. Mm. Maybe they could get the guys that want to hunt foxes to hunt extremists. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure who I'd want to win that one. <laughs> ISIS have begun using chickens loaded with bombs. The homegrown chickens are recruited from UK battery farms and transported to ISIS-held territories where they're promised free range. The birds volunteer to become suicide chickens in the hopes of getting to lay 72 eggs. That's really offensive. I know. I don't even like chicken. World surfing champion Mick Fanning fought a shark after being attacked in the water. Meanwhile, football superstar Cristiano Ronaldo has been helicoptered to hospital with an ingrown hair. Oh, those hurt. There are reports the Obama administration has been collecting personal information to create a secret racial database. Some are worried they'll be blacklisted. In a deposition, Bill Cosby has stated he's very good at reading women's consent for sex, reading the signals right. Apparently mm. the signal he was looking for was complete unconsciousness. Donald Trump says prisoners of war shouldn't be called heroes as they got captured. Trump considers himself a superhero since he escaped the draft. Angela Merkel is in trouble for stroking a teenage refugee. Mm. It's hardly the worst touching a head of state has done. Merkel stroked a refugee, Bill Clinton stroked Lewinsky, mm. John Major stroked Edwina Curry, and Berlusconi stroked anything he could get his hands on. Hmm. Stroked. <laughs> Labour leadership candidate Liz Kendall expressed anger at the Mail on Sunday for asking how much she weighed. She's certainly not going to enjoy her interview with The Sun next week when they ask her to get her jugs out. Mm -hmm. Jugs. A man has died in Demi Moore's swimming pool. Demi's going to find out whether it was a murder or an accident by asking the victim during a sexy pottery session. Mm, the 21-year-old in Demi's pool was about as dead as her career, which is actually much more successful than my own. I can only hope that enough fame someday that someone might fall into my kid's paddling pool, although that doesn't even have enough water to drown a hamster. I've tried. And finally, IKEA is set to start paying its staff the minimum wage earlier than it's legally required to. The rates vary, but they'll get roughly 7,000 tea light candles an hour. Oh, that ought to brighten their day. That's it for this week's News 500. The week's news in 500 seconds. Ish. <laughs> I quite like sitting on this side. Don't get used to it. <laughs>